The VJ-101 was a single-seat fighter reminiscent of the F-104 Starfighter. It was roughly the same size, weight, and height of the American fighter. But the similarities ended there. The pods on each wingtip were capable of swiveling from the horizontal position through to the vertical. Two additional engines were buried in the fuselage, directly behind the cockpit. These provided lifting power only and were shut down during conventional flight. Although the VJ-101 was the responsibility of a German consortium, Britain's Rolls-Royce played a major role in its development. Rolls-Royce provided the lift engine technology, as well as development and testing of the unique swivel pod assembly. The VJ-101 first hovered in April 1963 at the hands of American test pilot George Bright. Bright would do most of the preliminary flying, then work to close the gap between hovering and forward flight. Over a series of flights, Bright slowly eased the giant wingtip pods forward. Then, on October 8th, he attempted the first Verde circuit. He took off vertically, eased the plane forward into aerodynamic flight, pulled it back to the hover, and landed vertically. In May of the following year, Bright repeated the trick in front of a crowd at the Hanover Air Show. Like all V-Stoll airplanes, the VJ-101 had its share of adventurous moments. But ironically, its most serious accident occurred during a conventional takeoff. 